I mentor a lot of female founders. There's always seems to be a constant, no matter what, which is this demeaning, bullying, and um, sexual harassment of women. And so wherever we are, you're going to find that. And I say to women, that is going to be part of your life. And unfortunately, you need the tools to circumvent it, to navigate through it. And yet this happens almost every month and sometimes every week I get a call from a young founder or a woman period who says, Jillian, I was harassed and I don't know how to handle it. Or I was harassed and I've heard the tools that you have spoken to others about and now I'm implementing them. There is this young woman who was uh, very, very highly educated. She's a female founder. Her product deserves, um, has a tremendous product and it deserves backing. And so she went through one reputable VC firm after another. Everybody wanted to fund her. She decided on this one. One of the partners said um, that he was not able to make it. And so she went to visit him after, you know, have, have a meeting with him after she had already had a group meeting, many, many group meetings. And everybody in the fund felt confident that this was a, a you know, going to be a successful company or at least to give it a try. So she went to this partner and uh, met with him in a one-on-one. -on -one, and he said, you know what? This is a fantastic product. The way you presented it was perfect. I understand the value props. Um, you certainly understand that you, know, you have data to support it. You're getting the traction. And now, in order to get the funding, I, I understand why my partners want to fund this. Um, and now all I need is a blowjob. And he said that. And she was gobstopped. I mean, she was shocked. And she, as I've taught female founders, when you're in a situation like that, you first try to deflect it and you don't even acknowledge it. You just keep going and talk about the numbers and different types of traction or different types of data points. And it, but, she, but he kept pursuing this topic. This, uh, and so she tried to, and she said to him, well, I've, um, I, I'm sure you didn't mean that, you know, I'm sure you're just joking, so let's just move on and, and refocus to the, to the business. And then he said, no, I did mean it. And that's the point where I say to women, I, my, my mantra for women is stay tenacious and gracious. And so she held out her hand Thank you very much for the meeting. She turned around, she left. And that's what she was supposed to do. And then she called me and she said, I, I didn't even know what to do. She said, but I did everything you, tell, you talk to women about and I'm shaking from head to toe. I am coming apart inside. And I said, that's okay. It's okay to feel that you that because this the control was just ripped right out of you. And she said, I'm absolutely humiliated. I have never ever come across this in your life. And I said, get used to it. Because you will get this will happen to you time and time again. And the fact is, is it as you get older, you'll realize that it's really nothing about you. Um, and I'm hoping you know that now. But um, why don't you say, well, what do I do now? And I said, why don't you just sit back? She said, I feel like crying. I said, well, go cry. I said, that's okay. You know, this was very, very uncomfortable. So, um, unfortunately, I think there are a lot of people and women that won't put themselves on the line to help other women, and I'm not one of them. I rang them up. I said, I heard you love this product and that the presentation is fantastic and the founder is amazing and I heard that, you're, that everybody's interested in funding her and I heard that you asked also for a blowjob and he didn't say a word and I said, you did ask for that, didn't you? Just like that, very matter-of-factly and he said, um, oh, Jillian, what are you talking about? Of course I didn't, and you guys were joking. And I said, no, 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 no. This woman would not make this up. 
you absolutely did. And I said, do you know what? I said, do you know what they say about men who demean women like this, who bully women? They say that they're weak. And I said, and you are very, very weak. And you should be ashamed of yourself. And then I kind of threw him a little bit of a curveball because I said, I actually said, well, I'm just wondering what your wife would think about this. And I see her all the time, and I'm actually going to see her in a couple of weeks. I know we're going to this uh, event, and I know I'm going to see her. And maybe I should have talked to her a little bit about the fact that you need more blowjobs and that you're asking young pe girls for blowjobs. And that's when I got a rise, and I know oh, you wouldn't do that. There's no way you would do that. And I said, you know what? Every inch of me wants to do that but I'm not going to, because this is what you're going to do. And I said, you're going to apologize. I'm going to tell your partners, you're going to confess to this. You're going to own this. And if you truly feel this is a good product, you're going to fund it. Okay. There are also other going to be also, I'm going to let other people in that I wasn't going to allow in. And I think that she wasn't going to allow in to this round, but she is now but you're gonna come into this round and you're gonna work 10 times as hard as everybody else to make sure that this woman gets the best opportunities and that the most doors are open to her. And I said, and that is what's going to happen. And all I got was, okay. And that happened. And so that was that. So as I say to people and I say to women and men as well, don't let anybody bully you. The more people get away with bullying, the more they will bully. And that is in business and across the board. But women, especially right now, and in these very vulnerable positions, asking for raise, asking for money, whatever that situation is, they really need to have the tools in order to navigate through some challenging moments that they're going to have. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable not for us to hold each other accountable. It is unacceptable not just VCs, but everyone. We should always be able to. And, and by the way, if you make a mistake, then own it. Okay? If you make a mistake, if you see someone else make a mistake, call them on it. Call them on it. Make sure that they own up to it as well. And I, I think that it is critical right now for all of us to be able to succeed as a whole here, investing in companies, investing in people, for us not to break down people, but to build them up. As we build up companies, we should build building people. And I think for the most part, VCs, that's why we do what we do.